Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel for another exciting episode. This short video and few others coming up, I will be discussing about SQL tips and tricks. Uh, but before we jump in, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on my latest SQL insights. Alright, so let's get started. So in this video, I'll be explaining a very common problem the SQL developers face when writing dynamic queries. You can see that this is the uh, dynamic query I used uh, to run some result from the AdventureWorks database. You can see that uh, in the end I'm printing a statement, a SQL statement, and let's run the query, you will see the problem. So the SQL query, the result is fine, it successfully prints everything what we expect. But if you see in the print statement, once we run it, you'll see that the query does cut off in the, in the middle somewhere. And uh, even though we tried to, we basically we use we print to debug the query to make sure if there's any anything uh, missing in the end, if there's some some error in the code, we are able to debug it. Uh, so in this scenario, you can see that the query cuts off, and I'm not able to see have the full query to be able to debug. So the the solution for this one is that we had to explicitly cast the query to end text. So the problem basically is that it's not the issue with the end watch or max. The problem is with the print statement. What the print statement does is that print statement restricts the end watch or max uh, to 4,000 characters. And if we're using varchar max, so it will be re restricted to 8,000 characters. So we had to make sure that we explicitly, explicitly cast uh, to end text to see the entire query. So I'm going to do the print and then cast MySQL parameter as and text and now if I run the query you will see that uh, I expect I, I, the result I expected is the same 749 rows if I go in the end of the my message you see I get the entire query back so basically in this scenario whenever you're trying to get a dynamic query to print is uh, the best option would be to uh, cast is then text and then you will see the entire query printed out and then you can use this copy and copy the query and then put in another another query window and then you can debug it so that's the solution so I, I hope you like this video and if you do please uh, subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you